So we are done with setting up a user interface in our last video and here in this video we will start the actual implementation on how to work with the ML kit on how to work with the ML kit SDK so in so here in this video we will see the actual implementation how we can fetch the text from an image using an ML kit SDK so as per the firebase ML is an image we need to follow few steps to detect a text from an image to do that first we need to create a firebase vision image so let's start creating the functionality to uh, to extract a text from an image to further let me create a small functionality so what in this video i'm going to do so we'll create functionality for each and every feature for mlk sdk and at the last we'll combine together everything and we will create as one single application so in this first i'm just want to extract a uh, text only to a image so for that i want to create a functionality so let me create a functionality and i'll name it as a read text a read text from an image and I'll give it as an asynchronous functionality okay okay so what I do the first thing I need to create a firebase with an image so let me write to you firebase firebase vision image so and I'll name it as my image okay so here firebase vision image dot from file so from which file i need to pick from file so currently we have an image stored inside the picked image if you observe it right the currently picked image from the gallery that is stored inside our picked image so let me extract this so that you can visualize more okay so right now we are implementing functionality for uh, extracting an text from an image next we need to so next we need to create an instance of a detector so to create an instance of a detector we have something called text recognizer recognizer okay and i'll name it as recognize text is equals to firebase vision dot instance dot text recognizer okay and next so i created instance next i need to call a detect image or process image with a vision image so i will create something called vision text equal to read text is equals to await recognize text dot process image so in this process image i need to pass firebase vision image which is nothing but my image okay and after this let me write a small for loop for getting the blocks individually so i'll create name it as a block in read text dot blocks and inside again there's one more for loop so which is nothing but text line I'll name it as a line in block dot lines in block dot lines and again inside let me write one more so which is a text element word in line dot elements So here, I'll, let me print the word dot text. So I'm done with the functionality of creating a uh, read text from an image. Okay. So let me add this on my floating action button. So here, I'll simply call this. So this is an image. So right now, I'm just printing only in the console. If you go here and call the debug console, let's clear everything. And so you already have an image over here. Let's click on the this one. If you see what are the text that is there inside? So let me expand this. If you observe this, 
I am selfish, impatient and a little insecure. So whatever the text that is there inside the image that it has extracted and it printed in a console. If you see this in each and every line got printed the data divided into in every new line the loop has created the recognized text over here. Try extracting from a different image. So let me clear the output over here and run this. If you observe, sometimes I look at you and I wonder how I got to be so damn unlucky. So it has it has read everything which is there inside the image. This is how we are done with extracting in text from an image. So to make it look better, so instead of printing over here, uh, I'll delete it. So instead of writing over here, I will create a text over here. So instead of printing in the console, let me add this to my uh, text text which I'll create one text widget over here so in that I want uh, I'm just going to add this to create a text widget over here let me go down and create a text widget and next to the container so here next to the container I'll just take the sized box okay and I'll give it as a height and uh, which is uh, some 30 so what I am doing is instead of printing in the console, I want to extract the text and that text I want to print inside a text. Like in the text widget, I want to print. So here, let me write a text. Okay, let me create one small variable over here and I'll name it as a result, which is an empty one, which is an empty string. And here, right inside this, I will write result is equal to word dot text so if i print here this one if i write the result here and try to extract okay let me if you see it is extracting only the okay so let me set the state here and inside the set this inside set state just pass this if you see it has extracted the text and uh, if you observe it's extracted the text and the last line which is a lucky has displaced here why because the result we are not appending the previous data if you observe the previous if you remember the previous console everything got printed on the new lines like every time the text got extracted and that is printing on each and every line here this has taken the last text and it is going and it is printing here to get the entire text what we need to do is so let me append the previous text to the current text the result result plus this means what i'm doing is the uh the previously uh what i'm doing is the previous text like uh, you can see right in the console every text is coming as new lines like every time when it extracted the one particular word it is displacing and it coming and again the loop started uh iterating so means that's the reason we are getting the last data over here so what i'm doing is every time when it extracted and appending the data to the result that i'm just taking those results and appending back to the result if you check this and if i run this if you see uh, so now all the text got extracted here but if you there are no spaces like uh, right now there are no spaces right we, we are not given any spaces over here let me give some space here uh, and after this let me give small space okay if you observe let me rerun it okay clear it and i want to run it. okay so what, I, what it's doing is again you know, it is adding text twice so to avoid this issue let me write a result for the first time i will just add it as a new data okay every time when we tap on this check button on that bottom so what happened the current is uh, the current result the, the, the previous result it is just adding as an empty one and every time we are searching and we are pending over here Did you see now we got the proper again if you select on this what happens the previous result it will add it as an uh, empty data and again it freshly added data as append and it's going, it's going to be append over here again if you see go here and select one more 
text for the better understanding and click so you see, now you see all the data as displayed it means all the data which is there inside this image is extracted and will displayed in a proper order but if you see there is there is no padding over here there is no proper padding over here let me add a padding to this uh, go here go to the text means uh, because right now I want to give some padding to the text and to give the uh, like to arrange a padding to the text go to the text here and add a padding here so inside the padding you see I want to give some 16 padding here so if I give it now you can see we have extracted the data from an image and we arranged the data in a proper order and there, then there is a proper padding over here this is how we can extract the text from an image using a MLK test key which is a text recognizer in our next video we will see how we can extract a barcode